So you want to find out the best outreach methods so you can finally start your online business and getting paid online? You come to the right place. Let's get started. Hello guys, my name is Marcus. I'm an 18 year old agency owner from Norway, Bergen. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the three best methods for doing outreach for your social media marketing agency. Now you're probably wondering now, what is the best way to do this? Now, there really isn't one best way because follow me here. Let's say you, for example, or me in general, uh, we're not on every single platform, most likely. You might not be on WhatsApp, you might not be on Instagram, you probably are, but it's the same for business owners. Some business owners might not use Gmail that much, might not use Instagram that much, might not be using Facebook that much. So in general, by doing outreach on just one platform, might not be the best. Now, how do you go around this? How do you come up with this? Now, what I would do is found, find out where the business owner in your niche, where the people in your niche are hanging out, where they are most active, and then go about doing outreach there. Now, the first outreach method is Gmail. Now, this is generational. It's been used for templates years. A lot of people have been using it. A lot of people have been successful with it in the past. Now, what I personally think, it's not the best for beginners. Now, why is this? Like a lot of business owners get a lot of these messages by Gmail. They get spammed 24 seven by Gmail from everyone. So you have to stand out, which is why personalization is so important. Now, I have some different ways you can personalize, personalize your email. It can be having a loom, which is like a short video of you just probably showing some of the competitors ads or showing, showing some of the competitors uh, what they're doing and then just showing in the loom and then just showing what they're doing and what they're missing out on. The second one is having a, an ad. This is actually pretty interesting. I haven't heard anyone do this before, but having an ad at the top of your Gmail outreach. Now, what this does, it just makes you stand out and it also shows you a little bit of taste of what you can bring to the table. Now, what also can be good if you have some clients already is have some a bit of social proof at the bottom of the Gmail. I actually got this from the book Influence by Robert Cialdini uh, about social proof that people are more likely to buy from you if they have seen other people buy from you and are happy. So if, if you have some social proof, it's gonna give you more trust, more credibility. They're gonna be more confident that this will work with, because a lot of people have tried it out and it's wor been working for them. So you can have like, maybe you show how the results of your former client last week went, how the, how much profit they made, how much, how the ads were performing. Now this is things you can have in the bottom of your outreach and that would work pretty well. Now the second one is cold calling. Oh man, cold calling is one of the best, in my opinion, outreach methods. You're working for ages. And for me personally, it works best with local businesses, like your local dentist, your local skin clinics, your local, just general local businesses. Uh, this has been working pretty well. Now, the reason for this is not a lot of people do these cold calls. They don't get a lot of cold, cold calls about this. They get much more spam emails, they get much more DMs. Uh, so grow some balls and get out there and do some cold calls. And the thing with cold calls as well is that you can answer questions they have on the call and you can be more personalized. They talk into you, they hear a voice. It's gonna be much more comfortable for them. It's gonna give them more, give you more trust and credibility right then and there. Uh, so yeah, try it out and it works wonders for me. I actually utilized it to close my two first clients uh, was with cold calls. So yeah, try it out and see how it goes. Our right, third one is LinkedIn. Now, kind of with the same thing with Gmail, LinkedIn has become a little bit more spammy, but I feel like it's not there yet. Probably in a couple of years, it might be so. Uh, but right now, I think LinkedIn is pretty fine. And the thing with LinkedIn is that you can reach out to some pretty big business owners uh, via just LinkedIn messaging. Now, the most important thing with LinkedIn messaging is how your profile looks. Now, imagine you're getting a, a message from a LinkedIn profile with one follower, no banner, no picture, uh, just nothing. That's gonna be so, you're not gonna answer that with, it's not gonna give you any credibility, it's not gonna give you any trust. 
So what I would do is get a solid profile picture, a solid banner, uh, and get to 500 connections minimum. Now, you probably think 500 connections, Marcus, what are you talking about? How am I gonna get that? Now, it's pretty simple. This, you're just gonna follow people. <laughs> simple as that. In LinkedIn, you can follow people in your niche, people doing the same thing as you, uh, potential clients, uh, let's say realtors, dentists, in general. You're gonna follow these people and they will most likely follow you back. Now, here's a picture of my LinkedIn profile. Like, it's not perfect, I'm gonna tell you that it's not perfect, but it has these 500 connections. It's got a decent banner, it's got a decent profile picture, you know, of course, I mean a suit, you know. And um, yeah, it's giving more credibility, more trust. Uh, so yeah, that's important if you do an outreach with LinkedIn.